have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundance above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Dre Foster. And the theme of our program today is Carrying an Anointing of Ease. We're going to look in John, the first chapter. And this is when Jesus was coming to be baptized by John, his cousin. And he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And that's when he understood that Jesus was was the son of a God and the savior of the world. And this is what he says in verse 32. It's a John bear record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me upon whom Thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him. The same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Jesus was able to move with the dove in mind because he understood that with the presence of Holy Spirit upon him, that the Holy Spirit would never leave or forsake him. So that actually is our goal if we're going to have the anointing of ease. Because it says this, it's a testament of this, that the Holy Spirit is so tangible upon you that his presence and his powers make you impenetrable to the enemy that makes you more than a conqueror i'll be right back after this message from our sponsor plan to stay tuned for the entire program today the Catherine joy foster music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry in your discovery you will find the power of god present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion, where again, the theme of our program today is carrying an anointing of ease. You see, the Holy Spirit is so tangible upon you that His presence and his power makes you impenetrable to the enemy, which means that you are more than a conqueror. We're going to look in Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the first through the seventh verses. And it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord will give thee rest from thy sorrow. 
and from the fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. And they break forth into singing. So you see that God changes the dynamics when you move from oppression to freedom, from sorrow to joy, from fear to faith, which worketh by his love. And no one can hinder, which means that there'll be a continual rest from the oppressors. But when you rule over them, it will be different because you will be at rest and you will rule in the authority of the Lord and in the love of the Lord. But if he's telling you to get rid of the enemy, you have to work with God and allow him to subdue your enemy. So then you'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be above and not beneath. And you'll come behind and no good thing, knowing that you'll be in your element. Now, on today's program, you're going to enjoy the music of Vinnie Palmer. Now, let's hear him as he presents My Element.
visit us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion, where again, the theme of our program is caring and anointing of ease. We're going to look in Psalm 37, division, and the seventh verse, and it says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Now that word in Hebrew for rest means before our enemies, we will become silent and to be able to stand still and hold our peace as well as even to quiet ourselves. Why? Because we have no more complaints in our streets. We're totally pacified with being more than a conqueror through him who has loved us. We have a position of rest that the enemy cannot detect our position. Knowing this, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every time that shall rise up against us in judgment, we condemn. Which means that once the condemnation is in place against the enemy, then we rest our case. Resting in the merits of our God. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the rest of our program today. I was just standing there, basking in the sun, and all of a sudden, I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky, so I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing, not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Welcome back to King's Portion where again the theme of our program is caring and anointing of ease. You see this when Holy Spirit is so tangible upon us that his presence and his power makes us impenetrable to the enemy. That means we're more than a conqueror. We're going to look in Isaiah, the 63rd chapter and the 14th verse. And it says, as a beast goeth down into the valley, the spirit of the Lord causes him to rest. So did thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name. We're showing this, that there is, is a rest in which we could settle down because we're in partnership with Holy Spirit. And with his partnership, he caused us to rest and to be able to be in peace and stay that way because he has given us comfort. It will be much like the sheep that David talks about in Psalm 23. He says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. He anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. What he's showing is there is anointing of God that keeps that sheep at peace and at rest. This is what we find out about the sheep. It will absolutely not lay down if it is not comfortable. So it is for that shepherd and the spirit as upon that shepherd, which is Holy Spirit, to be his refuge. Knowing thus, he is the one who will help us to find better pasture, better refuge, a better 
rest than we have ever experienced. Isaiah 10, 27 reminds us of this, that it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off his shoulder and his yoke from off his neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Now let's listen to Vinny as he presents his next piece, Funky Bones, and I'll be right back. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is caring and anointing of ease. You see, when Holy Spirit becomes so tangible upon us that we 
have his presence and his power, it makes us impenetrable to the enemy. Let's go to Matthew, the 11th chapter, and the 28th verse. And it reads, and these are the words of Jesus. He says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So he's not just giving you a rest or your rest, but it is his rest. And in the Greek, that means to repose, to be exempt. That means that all that labor, the cycles of the repetition of it, the intensity of it, even if it looks like there's been a setback from it, he says, come on to me. I've chose you to have my rest. And then in 29th verse, it says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That word rest in the 29th verse says that there should be an intermission that we should be able to take because we are in his rest. This is what rest means there, is that there is time for recreation. And in that time of recreation, there is recreation for you. Knowing that what has God has for you, it's not to return to a yoke of hard labor and sorrow and oppression and fear because God is not like man. God is not like the devil. He is a creator of everything that is good and perfect. And he wants you to have that today. So actually, it's the only yoke and the only burden that can cause you to rest in peace. So you may be saying, well, I'd like to have that rest and I don't have that rest. Well, that invitation extends to you today for Jesus to be the Savior of your life and the Lord of your life. All you need to do is to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. And I know that I can enter in your presence because of the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you have your mercy upon me and it triumphs over judgment. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I know now that old things are passed away and all things are new. And I receive my salvation and I enter into your rest right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, please email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com. And we'll send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to the remaining portions of King's Portion after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, Caring and Anointing of Ease. Holy Spirit is so tangible upon you and I that in his presence, we have access to his power that makes you and I impenetrable to the enemy. I want to reread Matthew, the 11th chapter, the 28th through the 30th verses, but this is from the message translation. 
Now hear this. He says, are you tired? Worn out? Burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me. And you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn how to live freely and lightly. And if we are not doing that, we're doing something wrong. So why don't we just stay in the presence of Holy Spirit where there is an expectancy. There is a knowing that we have the kingdom of God within us. That we have a state of honor and a seat of dignity in his presence. That we are his friends and we are looking forward with pleasure knowing that what he started he will complete and that is his gift to you this is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion where we speak to the royal blood in you you have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster today's podcast is available for download Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.